continue where we left off with the knee. What I'm doing here is I'm slowly building up, I'm going to use this color here, I'm slowly building up the muscles in the leg on this side. And to do that, I am going to make sure that I have the knee as I want it. So something like that, kind of add that muscle there. And add this muscle coming out like that. And I'm going to use this brush again. I'm going to kind of bring that up. And then I'm going to kind of blend this in. There we go. So I don't have too much hard lines. And maybe I could even have that brighter part come down a little bit more. And if I wanted to, I can kind of add a little bit of that just to add some variation in color. Okay. I'm going to bring some of this dark in here to kind of separate some of those shapes. Add, I'm adding some uh, Right now I'm just doing some of the wrinkles in the cloth. And I don't want a whole lot of detail in the boot part down here. I don't want the tension to be drawn away, so maybe I'll add in just a couple of little little highlights like that. And that's it. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to that part of the foot. Mainly now it's just uh, getting a lot of this rock structure that I'm going to have. Rocks are, to me, not fun to paint. Just kind of just kind of sketching in some hard lines there, so I have something to follow when I want to paint it. I can't remember what this rock looks like. Okay, I guess that works. Grass. Shapes. Shape. 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 Anyway, okay. I'm just going to kind of add some purples and blues in there. Okay, I'm going to go back to fixing up my knee here. So I have a very soft brush that I'm going to use for this. And I'm just going to kind of sculpt. I call this sculpting because that's pretty much what you're doing. You're kind of you're kind of sculpting the shapes. And I'm going to push that part back by making it darker. And I know it's going to kind of run like that. Lighten up a bit. I have to lighten up that part a bit because I made it too much. So you compare it to the original. Maybe I should just do it like that. I'm, uh, I'm going to make all this one color for now. Sometimes it's easier just to wipe out what you have and start over. Okay, I'm going to take this brush instead. Actually, I'll use this one if I can do size. And I'm going to add some of that shape like that. I 
And I know you can you can use the. I just I, I use my Wacom tablet, and so I don't like reaching over and trying to use my keyboard. But if you wanted to, you could use the keyboard to make your brush smaller and bigger by using the brackets. So you can go like that. But um, I don't like reaching over and using the keyboard. So if I wanted to follow the muscle structure on this leg, I have this kind of highlight coming like that. And uh, yeah, I think that can work. So let me go ahead and redraw back in the dark kind of shadows in here. And sculpting is really what takes the longest time, especially when you sculpt the, uh, when you get into sculpting the stomach. And the more abs, the more time it takes. Yep, sculpting abs is uh, time consuming. So I'm just going to slightly add a little bit of highlight there. bring some of this color from the boot up into the leg and you'll see it kind of a little bit of this color right here just kind of adds uh, that's too much that's still not that's ugly not going to do that cool it's getting there Maybe I should add one sharp line here to kind of see how it kind of kind of make up for that shape right there. Maybe I, I can go ahead and add a little bit of sharp lines for this part. And I can get rid of it by doing that. Kind of blend that a little bit see how that looks first. And I have her her legs a lot thicker in this one than that one, but it looks cooler. Now I got to do the arm. Go to 100% opacity again. And the uh, cape add all those wrinkles into it. Eh, I should have kept the original drawing layer. out of time on this one so I uh, went ahead and threw in some more sketch lines where I know where I'm going to be painting when I get there and I, I'm not sure if, if I want this back here dark anymore because see in this one I have it light and it looks kind of cool you can see the sky back there but I was thinking about having the tree coming there and blending I don't know I'll, I'll figure out if I want it there or not but I'm thinking I'll leave it like that so okay I think that ends this one I'm debating whether or not I want to put one of these armbands on this arm. I don't think I do. Okay, tune into the next one.